Alright, three, two, one. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Brick Bain. I'm Gio. And we're chilling in the park here, Laurelhurst, uh, in Portland, Oregon. And we're gonna do a flashlight coffee review. Yes, sir. You're killing it, Richard. You're killing it, man. Yeah. Ooh. It smells like heaven. Hey, man, I'm excited for today's coffee, for sure, 100%. Flashlight Coffee, um, yes, which sir. is a roaster out of San Francisco in California. Our friends Richard and Courtney Torres um, are the ones who uh, co-run it and founded it. Yes. Um, I know Richard um, for years now. Um, I've actually got a podcast up there on Castle Podcast talking about how our friendship first started a couple years ago here in Portland, Oregon. Now he lives in San Francisco. From living in San Francisco, then he met Gio because Gio is very active in yes. the community. Super active in like the, I was well when it came to coffee aspect, I was active in like tasting it. And Richard was like, I loved his branding at first, the whole flashlight branding. And uh, met him. I also got a podcast with him, so that's pretty cool. He uh, he made his rounds. But yeah, I'm excited, man. Uh, he came a long way with his uh, with his branding. He came a long way with his packaging. I remember at first it was just a sticker that said flashlight, and then another sticker that said uh, what kind of coffee you're buying. But this time, like. Y'all saw the bag. The bags are amazing. So, dude. This is definitely something to take a second and um, flash it just did a rebrand. And uh, I was texting Gio about it earlier, or a couple days ago, about how sick it is. And he was excited to open the box and see it. And they're doing a really good job. Um, yeah. I think that's something I really like about these guys is they, they're constantly updating stuff yeah. instead of just uh, repping with one type of bag and then continuing on here. Um, Another this, thing, I, my bad. You go, no, go ahead. Yeah, no. Another thing I love about them is that um, they're not they're not worried about trying to market the best coffee you've ever had, right? They're more focused on, hey, this is this is our coffee brand. We're gonna incorporate Seinfeld, whether you think it makes sense or not. Uh, we're not gonna call it the best coffee. Actually, the first coffee I ever got had a sticker on the back that said "Okay Coffee" or something like that. Like mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. What's uh What's your experience of Portland? So like far. so far bro i mean you're like Man, an sf boy who's moving to like portland yeah. that's like not the most dramatic move ever because you're still like a west coast guy yeah um but you know it's not we're surrounded by like trees right now it's not <laughs> surrounded by like you know hey, buildings being in, being in this nature in this environment right now it's it's beautiful man the only thing that i have uh that it's, that's annoying me a lot is that i have clothes and all of it has sf on it and i didn't realize how much clothes i had that said san francisco so that's definitely one thing I'm trying to fix because, you know, I'm here now. I mean, I, SF's always in my heart, but uh, I'm here. So I got to get accustomed to what's around me. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting some some Portland type of merch, some uh, some Portland inspired hats, hmm. stuff like that. But everything I have says SF, which is annoying me. Uh, I I really like that, you know, just repping. Oh, I, uh, I was showing Gia this before, but... Um, <laughs> In, in talking about Flashlight um, and talking about Richard and Courtney Torres um, who roasted this coffee, um, this is kind of like a biased review because we're both like really good friends with those guys. Yeah. And uh, Gio actually did a little collaboration with his project Untitled Unlimited in Flashlight Coffee and created uh, this shirt. Um, it's got a pretty dope, <laughs> dope, uh, dope um, back on it and they collaborated on a bag of coffee as well and it was a really cool project so i thought it'd be a good day to to rep you know both my boys i didn't even put that together when i saw that to be honest i <laughs> i was so late to that party <laughs> i thought you were just wearing it because you're just like ah, i just i'm gonna wear another shirt for today yeah, yeah. we're about to call rich here and get his um take on uh this coffee why he chose it and all stuff like that just real quick just wanted to flash some mug game um i've got got a the big cow and uh, we've got the heart. I got him on the line. I got him on the line. This is GS. Yeah, I see you guys. Hey, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep it like this so you can see us. But uh, we're doing the review right now, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, I love that bag. That bag is extremely amazing. The, the new one? Yeah, the new one. We got like this uh, this, this uh, blue green one right here. Oh, yeah, the green one. The, yeah, the yeah. way way. Rich, we're just like chilling in Lower House right now. Um, drinking some coffee but uh tell us like tell us like why you i don't know chose this coffee um yeah just tell us a little bit more about it like give us some, some like background uh yeah i mean we were looking for you know we've had a bunch of fruity offerings on our menu recently and like in the past it's kind of been what we've been known for um 
and he really liked drinking like solid, like brown chocolate, mm-hmm. like comforting coffees. Oh, sorry. yeah. Um, and so yeah, we were we were kind of sourcing one. And we found this through Royal, um, and it was super tasty. Yeah. And uh, was good. you know, it was exactly what we were looking for. I like it a lot, man. It's definitely like. Um, like you were saying a little bit like chocolatey I love like the the note you have on there on graham cracker bear bears I like how you yeah. I like how you have bears on there not just graham crackers <laughs> well, you know the goal is teddy grams but we don't want to get sued teddy so. grams <laughs> dude that's awesome that's a good idea yeah it's it's like it's not it's not like too chocolatey either it's definitely like got like the light um, the light tone notes in there yeah we're really digging it yeah, man we, and we really dig the the rebrand as well oh thank you man yeah we're really excited it's Seems to be going over well. People seem to like it, which is good. Um, we're really happy with it finally. I feel like we've been jumping between designs so much. But how is uh, how's everything going with Flashlight? Uh, things are going great. Um, we picked up a lot recently. We uh, with the rebrand, we kind of like pretty aggressively. We're trying to like get ourselves out there, take the next step, get into some cafes and like more wholesale options. Especially right now, we you know with COVID happening, like um, yeah online sales are tough there's like spurts but we're moving to a little consistency so um but things have been going really well people have been reacting great to the coffee and, and the branding and like you know what we're doing um which has been awesome that's so good to hear man um i'm glad you guys are doing good and holding in there and um you guys are pushing through i really respect that yeah thank you how are you guys doing we're good man well, I'm, I'm gonna be honest we're very jealous you guys are hanging out <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, man. Spots, so. Dude, it's it's a super nice day in Laurelhurst. There is like a bunch of people out right now. Um, yeah, dude, it's a fucking just a nice fucking day, and we were kind of just like wanting to hang out, and you know, we were talking about how like park culture is like not only big in Portland, but it's like huge because of COVID, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's where everyone goes to hang out. You, you yeah. Can, like, you can socially distance and, and enjoy the city. But we were just thinking, like, have some like coffee in the park with the boys, and you know, just have a good time. But yeah, we uh, we just wanted to give you a shout and. Um, yeah, thanks for taking our call and like spending a little time with us, brother. Yeah, I'm sorry this video does not work. I'm a little bummed, but That's all right, I man. Wish, That's all right, man. Sure we'll send we'll send you a tutorial. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, my man. Keep selling out, dude. I miss you. Uh, and hit us up when you when you're in Portland, dude. Yeah, for sure, man. We're we're trying to go in. Uh, we're gonna be there in September. Hey, September, man. That's right around my birthday. So hit me up. Yeah, we're all gonna hang out. Oh yeah. Right on. All right. See you, bro. Thanks, Love Rich. You, Have a good day. He works at St. Frank. I don't know if you spent time there when yeah. you lived in SF, but yeah, there's a bunch of like really good boys there. So. Um, I don't know. If, do you know anybody else who works at St. Frank? Because I'm no. starting to I'm He's starting to know like more and more people in St. Frank, and they're all legends. So, like they're all like very. It's, <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually, not like hey, I've, been here, like actually, yeah, yeah. Yama, like I've been here for like a year or two. Yeah, I've been here for six years. My like, buddy Yama used to work at St. Frank, and he actually made it into the Drift uh, Coffee Book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really? made into the drift coffee. Book. I love my drift. tabletop right now. Hey, yeah, there you I go. That issue. <laughs> I think uh, I don't know if I have that issue. I've got like Mexico City and like another one. Yeah, but Cuba uh, maybe or something. It was like that. actually cool because when I did the podcast with Rich, he was saying, I mean, to hear how like elite heart is, he was saying that he had to just keep on applying and applying and applying and like. I applied. The, I didn't get the job. After the fifth time, they were just like, "All right, kid, come over here. Let's do it." So persistent. I mean, yeah, persistency really got him the job, and of course he got skills too. So yeah, for sure. And then St. Frank kind of like teaching him the way how to run a, a coffee business, so he's he's gaining a lot from working. In mad fucking mad fucking respect to St. Frank, even just like, I mean, you know, because like you're doing merch, but not only like roasting coffee and like going into all that stuff, but like shipping and like mm. like oh, shipping yeah. is like the foundational of like a small business and like learning those skills are fucking even, huge. Like when you're thinking of merch and stuff, this happened this has been my like fuck up in the past. I like skip past the shipping. Like I'm just like how much do shirts cost? I need to come up with design and then next thing you know I'm just like oh shit I need I need, this this project is gonna cost a hundred dollars extra because I gotta buy all the shipping supplies. That's definitely something people just skip over including myself. So are you doing your own inventory? Yeah I'm, I do my own inventory. It's uh, I like it. I like I like being hands on, and I'm a I'm a pen to paper type of guy. So mm. I write down like even though it's all on Squarespace, I like writing it down. It's just I remember stuff faster once I write it down on a piece of paper. You yeah. wanna give us a little like fucking Untitled Unlimited like update like what's oh, crap. Go- like what's I going even... like what's what's kind of like 
yeah so what's going on you know i don't know when this is coming out but as of today july what 13th july 14th july 23rd we're gonna drop our first podcast which is the rebrand so we have podcasts already for entitled mp3 but this is the first one in the rebrand uh it's gonna be ghost which is the producer of jarvis neely and we're also premiering a song on that episode wow so uh that's gonna be dope that's um, dope that's why i've been posting premiering a song on a podcast premiering that's a song dope. on a podcast it's the first podcast of the rebrand and it's the first i guess premiere of a song um so that's cool. We're also working on some merch that's gonna uh, a shirt that I hope inspires people to make a change in their culture, make a change mm. in their neighborhood, make a change just in the world. Like, yeah. And I think that's subconsciously inspired by everything that's going on going on right now, like Black Lives Matter, um, the COVID. Everything is just inspiring me to create stuff that inspires people to create and change what's going on around them. So yeah, that's the big thing with Entitled Unlimited. We got it's exciting, dude. It's exciting. Um, we got guests coming on that are awesome. Hopefully, you can be on in the, in the new episode, sure. in the new uh, rebrand. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going, keep making merch. It's crazy to like think about like COVID and you know all the things you were saying about because there's so many people we were talking about earlier. So many people are getting called out for like no. things they're doing wrong or all these things, and it's taken this like it's taken taken this pandemic to like realizing like what we're actually going through. Yeah. But it's also so like that's kind of like not like sad but it's kind of like a weird reckoning that like your favorite place maybe like isn't having the best practices you know it's kind of like a shake yeah. up um but i think within all that and something within like covid is that like um like the young guys like fucking like rich like running like flashlight with courtney and like you doing untitled and like man all that shit like just gives me like so much um yeah just like it makes me feel fucking all like warm and fucking inside you know it's yeah. just kind of like it's like we're we're going through something we have like a reckoning happening but at the same time it's like we're still on the come up. Exactly. Still on the come up. And this is proving to people that, like, you need more than just dope services or dope merch to be a good business. Like, at this time, if your business is not about Black Lives Matter and it's not about the forwarding of getting rid of racism, mm. people are going to be like, fuck your brand. Like, mm. we don't want... That's, that's the... That's, like, right now, it's exposing everybody's truest colors. Because right now, the businesses that aren't, that aren't like, supporting uh, a good cause, they're getting fucking cut off. So, of course, just, like, bigger bigger businesses that it, it seems like they're inevitable to, to getting, uh, I guess, shut down. But definitely, if you're on the smaller side and your true colors show, you're, you're, getting, um, you're getting some backlash. So, it's an it's a exciting, real, true time to live in right now, yeah. for sure. Well... I think that uh, that wraps us up for, for these guys. Um, thanks for hanging out with us, um, having coffee in the pork park with the boys. Um, we're in Laurelhurst, uh, Portland. Yep. Um, kind of uh, is a little small, like I think a little in my mind, a little small celebration. Like congrats to Geo for moving north to Portland as well. Appreciate that, boss. Welcome to the fucking neighborhood. Thank you. Um, yeah. Anything else you wanna you wanna say, bud? Uh, no. Nah, you wanna wrap it up? Nah, uh, yeah, man. Uh, this is. This is a wrap-up of the Flashlight Coffee Review. Shout out to Richard. You're doing great things, man. Um, if this comes out and it's still timely, he's selling some stickers. That's going to go to a really, really uh, great corporation that... Um, dope stickers. Dope stickers. That is all about the forwarding of transgender lives. So uh, follow up with Flashlight on flashlightcoffee.com. Follow my man over here with a great beard. And uh, me, whatever. I don't care about me. But uh, yeah, this is the wrap-up. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Uh, all those links uh, will be in the description, talking about Flashlight, talking about my shit, talking about Geo and Untitled. Um, thanks so much for chilling with us. See you next time. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, B.